so this is basically ready to wire up. Wiring it up is probably actually the easiest part of all of this. Basically every ranger needs a not equal. So that's four not equals. And every ranger needs a multiply. Now basically if you can't wire you can find making engines very very difficult. So we'll just stop this. Now another way to just make life easier is color coding the chips to the ranger. So this top ranger is blue, doesn't matter what it is. Just get allocate a set of chips to each ranger. Next is need one for yellow. one for green and one for red now if this is assuming you actually want to be able to control the throttle you can use an increment decrement I'm sure there's other methods but this is just the way I do it an increment decrement is basically the amount of force that you're going to apply to the forces I mean sorry the thrusters so, if you understand how a multiplier works, if this not equal is triggered, it'll be a value of 1. Now, 1 times whatever this increment decrement is, is just an output. But whatever this is, you could have this as millions and millions, but uh, if this not equal isn't being triggered, it's just going to be whatever this increment decrement is multiplied by 0, which is just 0. So we'll just wire A on the not equals to the color coded ranger. Just straight onto distance. And then A on the multipliers is the not equal below it. And B is the increment decrement. Now, you're going to need, uh, for now, just a number that the increment decrement will increase and decrease by, just a constant value. You place this as A. You can have buttons or uh, a pod controller, it doesn't really matter, as long as you have an input that you can just control the increment and the decrement chip by. I'm just going to use buttons just to simplify it. Turn off toggle, otherwise I should have hit the fan. <laughs> um, that's about it. I think it's just ready to wire up now. So, the increment is just the opposite. Obvious. Just whatever button you want to increase the throttle. Decrement is just whatever input you need to decrease the throttle. If you want, you can have a reset button. Just if you go way past the limit of the engine and there's no time to go slowly downwards. Just get a screen just to check if this is working and just to display. So, wire this screen directly to the increment decrement. If we press these buttons, this should increase each time and reset should work. Now, the thrusters just get fired directly to the multiplier. That's color coded for it. So just go ahead and do this. It's pretty simple.
Now these engines, you're gonna run it right now and you're gonna think, oh that's shit. But actually these engines need load just to hold the momentum of the crankshaft. You could pr probably make the crankshaft way more, but... Oh, it's all up to you. Nearly done. So, all these pistons are... wired up to the allocated chips and all that. Let's go ahead and turn this on to see if it actually works. And that is actually on a hundred force, which is actually quite low. You see it's actually running fairly smoothly. And if you go up too high you'll actually see it jump. Maybe. Or it'll just run really well. So basically this is it. That's a fairly easy engine. You're probably kicking yourself thinking how complex it probably would have been. Now if you didn't have the rope at the start that I showed you and the limiting, then if you turn this engine up too high, the forces will actually throw this engine, throw the, the piston, sorry, past the crankshaft, but because of this is roped, you actually can't physically pull that past, so it's actually a much more durable engine, especially if you crash, or if it gets thrown around. I'm sure this engine could probably take a beating. If we just threw it at the ground. Look at that. It still runs. Haven't touched anything. Throw it. It doesn't matter as long as it... And still running perfectly. So this is... Just an uh, engine tutorial by X Games. Subscribe. Hope you enjoyed.